Welcome back, everybody. Time for some more Ultimate Admirals, and we are going to go back and revisit that last mission, uh, the battle for Valcor Island, which went very badly, uh, even though I thought I had done everything asked of me. So uh, basically going in with the same uh, ships that I had before. I, I think the names might be slightly different, but uh, three 28-pound, 28-gun uh, ships that I had to purchase specifically for this mission. But what I've done differently this time is every one of them I've added... Um, the lightweight gun carriages, which I went ahead and researched to give me a little bit more space, uh, and then boarding equipment one, uh, which uh, those two things combined uh, should allow me to be a little bit more powerful. And then on top of that, we're going to do a different strategy. And it was a strategy that was suggested by one of you. And I think it's a fantastic way to go about this mission. So we'll talk about that as we get into it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, the strategy that was suggested, and I think it's a great idea, now that I know what this mission entails, is to pull this whole line from here back to here. Number one, it's going to uh, cause him to get a little more stretched out and should buy me additional time, uh, but also it gets me right near the escape area so that uh, when the time comes and I start capturing British ships or my ships get weakened, I can immediately escape them so that they don't run into any trouble and I don't have to try and race the British to the escape area. So uh, that's the plan and we'll see how that works out. Hopefully in addition to what I believe should be a correction to the way this mission runs uh, where I did what was asked of me which was to uh, escape with my fleet but it still caused me to lose the mission. So I'm hoping that won't be the case this time that if I do escape it will go ahead and let me win anyhow because it tells you that the, you can do that so we'll see how that all plays out we're going to go ahead and start pulling our whole fleet back and i'm going to do this individually so that they can each go at their own best speed rather than uh, being slowed down by the guy in front of them now there's one thing i noticed in the update to the game that i don't believe was there before and it is uh right here down here on the bottom uh, it says match speed mode if you press y you sh your ship will try to match the speed uh, with a target when the target is in fire sector. So I like that, that you don't have to try and do that on your own. It'll automatically do that if you tell it to. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start getting at some of these smaller ships. And I'm going to go pretty slow with this because there's going to be so much to try and manage while this is going on. It's going to be really easy to lose some of these smaller ships especially. that I wanna try and uh, make sure that I make the most of every opportunity that I've got here. I've got New Jersey just kinda of sitting still at the moment. And I'm gonna tell them to kind of stay with this target, the Sparrow, until they can finish them off. We'll go ahead and start bringing Georgia up. And I'm gonna go ahead and give Give all these ships the AI control, at least for now. I don't particularly trust the AI to do this right, but kind of don't have an option at the moment if I want to be able to make the most of everything here. Did he really try to board me just now? That was a ridiculously stupid thing to do. Okay, so now the tricky part, of course, is that I have to, I have to cut that and I have to do my own boarding. which is kind of dumb, but that's just the way it is with this. In order to be able to capture this ship. Come on. So there we have that. So now we'll put a skeleton crew on this thing, just 10, and then we're going to get it out of here as quick as we can. And we'll wait for the next ship. Come on, get out of there, boys. Let's go ahead and get these other ones going up here. I don't know what the tricky part is right now. We have to go directly into the wind in order to get at these guys. So we've got one British ship out of the way. And the nice thing is they're all in this perfect little line so we can kind of hopefully take them all on one at a time. 
and we're going to use those little ships to kind of harass the rest. Now we have a choice to stay and fight while the last British ship is sunk or retreat and save our ships. Now here's again where it gets tricky because it tells me that fleet retreat would fulfill the victory condition. But I played this again yesterday and had the exact same result where I retreated all of my ships, but I had one ship that was left over that hadn't retreated that had, it was one of these like this where it had 10 men. And since it was the last ship left and it got destroyed, it again gave me a fail on the mission. So the only thing I can think is that you have to, the last ships to end service in this battle have to have been um, retreated rather than destroyed in order for it to trigger a victory for this mission. So I've just got to keep that in mind. Make sure that any ships I'm not going to be able to save are destroyed or captured before my last ship retreats. So that's kind of how this has to be, I guess. We don't need to do that right now. So let's get the Vermont up here. We got to be careful. I don't want to go hitting those other ships until I've done quite a bit on these ones. But we're going to have a heck of a time. Looks like the bot these guys are just trying to follow the others. I don't want them following. I want them to do their own thing. Georgia's down here just kind of really stuck at the moment. Because we're going... This time the wind is coming directly at me. So I'm probably better off just to stay down here rather than continuing to try to sail up into the wind like this. So we can get some of our other ships going. So I think for the moment I can go ahead and go a little faster with this. All right, we got the Betany to surrender. Now this is where it gets tricky because I don't really have anybody really kind of in a position ready to board this thing. Let's go ahead and bring the Vermont over to board these guys. And then we can pull that one out of here. Although we might just end up sinking the Betany, I think. I don't know. Alright, so our little guys are going to go start going after the big ones now. That may not be the best thing, but... At the very least, maybe they can slow them down a little bit, which would be helpful. the Betany. We're slowly pulling them in. So that'll be our second captured small ship. These are ships I might be able to use as fire ships down the road. Nice and small. Prefer to kind of sink some of these others. Okay. So we won boarding there. Let's go ahead and I don't want to transfer a whole crew to that thing. It's not going to give me the option to transfer a minimal crew. Can I destroy the thing? Can I just sink it? A lot of times that's an option, but it doesn't appear that's going to be an option either. Ugh. All right, forget it. I'm not going to try and capture the thing if I have to send 60 men over to it. A 
Loyal Convert one boarding. What did they try to board? Oh, they they boarded the new uh, the New York. That's actually not a terrible thing. We're transferring crew from a big ship to a small ship there, so I'm okay with that. All right, let's slow down here because it's starting to get dicey. He's boarding me. Loves to do that. That's right, at least we wiped out his crew that way. We just gotta get around that ship is the problem. That one's gonna sink, so that'll help. Gotta be careful with the New Jersey. They're starting to lose some crew. Get around these guys. All right, New Haven's getting boarded. I don't know what in the world the Boston's doing. Did they run aground? Is that what happened there? All right, looks like the Betany's gonna very quickly uh, come back into service, which is fine, because then we'll just blast them again. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put canister fire on. Although now I've got the Roebuck right there, so maybe I don't want to do that. I want to get some regular shot going. What a mess. finish off the New York. We're really kind of in a jam here because I got these ships in the way and the wind is just really unfavorable right now. We're going to sink Betany here in a minute. Try to do the same to New York. Hardy's sunk. Finally. Good night. What a all junked up over here right now the wind is just at the worst possible position for this mission these guys are all it seems pretty much run aground at the moment or nearly so so I'm going to try to take out a couple more ships and then get out of here In fact, some of these ships, like the Philadelphia, I think I'll just go ahead and get them escaped. There's not a ton to be gained at this point if I can't, if I don't think I can successfully grab some of these ships. the wind and get out of dodge. Now oh, the Georgia just took the Thunderer, even though I wasn't trying to. Norwich is going to try to get in the way so that we can't get out of here.
Come on. Go a little faster. This is going to be a problem, especially if he tries to board me here. Gotta make sure we can avoid that. Who's the Lee boarding? Oh, the Lee just took out the New Haven. Interesting. Alright, Boston, let's see if we can get you out of here. Again, I've got to be careful here because if I end up with ships being destroyed before ships escape, I feel like that's where it causes me to lose the mission. So maybe we'll try to get Boston to a safe spot. I'm a little worried about New Jersey at the moment. No, 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 no. Don't let them board you. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to send the New Haven over here to get captured. Actually, maybe I'll just leave them alone. I don't know. This is where it gets tricky because I've got these ships back here that may not make it out alive. All right, maybe we can get them out. So in theory, this should be a victory if all of my ships escape. Because it says fleet retreat. So we'll see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow the lead down because nobody's coming after them. And I don't think Boston's going to survive. So he's going to take the Boston. And now we escape with the Lee so that the last thing that happens is that my available ships escape. Let's see if that turns into a victory. Because if not, this mission's still broken. Okay, so it's all about kind of making sure you play the engine. Okay, make sure that the last thing that happens is a ship leaves uh, on its own. If everybody else escapes and then one gets captured or sunk at the end, it ends up a defeat. So, so there you have it. We captured the HMS Sparrow. Didn't lose any ships. So, you know, we sank the Hardy. Uh, we didn't capture any of the big ones. Sank the Betany. But I'm going to take it because it didn't allow me to have any of my big ships in this one. So we escape with a victory. Now we sell off some of these ships we're never going to really probably use again. Um, so I've got a lot of managing that I'm going to have to do to my fleet at this point uh, moving forward. So there you have it. We got 28000 which basically covers the expenses that I had in winning that mission because uh, I had to build those ships. But I did get that 30 prestige, which is huge because now I've got 73 prestige. I've got a huge fleet of ships, uh, many of whom I'm going to have to probably sell off. But you can see everything I've got here. Um, we're going to get this Kennington going because let's go ahead and, and end the chapter and move on to the next part of this. France is going to send 40,000 soldiers and a huge fleet to help us. So now we've got uh, some new available missions. And let's go ahead and take a look at these Friend in Need and Savannah, which is a land mission. Let's look at Friend in Need because I'm hoping we're finally going to be able to take our third-rate ship out for a spin. Okay, so there you have it. It's a big sea mission, and there are no limits on the sizes of the ships that I can take. So we're going to take nine ships. That's going to be a huge, huge battle when the time comes. So we'll do that next time we come about. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. Use that comment section below, and we will come back with another mission in a couple of days. Thanks for watching.